Lately, I've come across an interesting problem in mathematics, the Collatz conjecture. Let's look it up in Wikipedia. The Collatz conjecture is a conjecture in mathematics that concerns a sequence defined as follows. Start with any positive integer n, then each term is obtained from the previous term as follows. Previous term is even, the next term is one half the previous term. Previous term is odd, the next term is three times the previous term plus one. The conjecture is that no matter what value of n, the sequence will always reach one. More precisely, a recurring cycle of the integers four to one. When I read something about recurring sequences of numbers, I immediately think about sound or how to make it audible. But first, let's see how we can generate a collapse sequence in Max. Let's start this exploration with a fixed integer of 100 and a slow metro to create a sequence of banks. Depending on whether the number is even or odd, we need to generate the next number in a different way. So let us first check if the current number modulo 2 is equal to 0. Depending on the outcome of this, we will trigger a different calculation, so let's add a blank select 1, 0. Every time this loop runs, we are going to prepare the two calculations. Divided by 2 if the number is even, and times 3 plus 1 if it's odd. We're going to store each result in an i object, but on the cold inlet, so it's not immediately output. The final step is to connect our select with the two number containers and feed it into the right inlet of our current number, which will be the base of calculations in the next step. Now let's start the metro and take a look at the results, inserting some debug breakpoints. Now that we're done, let's extract an abstraction from that. That reminds me, we should probably crack that open again and add a second inlet to be able to supply a different starting number. My initial idea was to sonify this sequence in the fashion of an arpeggiator, however numbers of a few thousands are clearly impracticable for this. That's why we are going to devise a new abstraction called voice underscore freak with a modular operation first, thus limiting the range of numbers to a maximum of this first argument. Then we offset it by a second argument to send it into an MTOF to derive MIDI pitches from it. Once we're ready, let's instantiate this object and give it two arguments for offset and modular operator.
Using a multi-slider, let's visualize the output of collect sequence with an inverse point scroll. Now let's duplicate this combination a few times and change all the values to produce an interesting polyrhythmic pattern. Connecting everything to the multi-slider, we can already see those emerge. Let's connect the frequency outlets to an MC voice allocator with 24 channels. We connect that to an MC.target and also supply an envelope here, which we will trigger whenever the allocator assigns a new value. It is assigned the same voice as an mc.cycle, which we instantiate here. We apply the envelope using an mc.times and use an mc.meter to visualize it. Then we downlink to stereo and output it to our audio device. Let's restart everything and listen to the melodic patterns emerging. <laughs> 